Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content in Former Farmer Insights. We're here at the, uh, the Cologne um, at the Bio Europe meeting and I'm joined by uh, Mike Taylor who's President and CEO of a clinical based uh, you know, clinical biotech company called Decipher Pharmaceuticals. So uh, thanks for joining us Mike. I'm glad to be here. So Decipher, I guess you know, what it does is uh, what it says on, on the label. So what actually are you deciphering? So we work with uh, kinases, which are really important signaling molecules in cells. And often they're, they operate aberrantly to cause cancer. Yeah. And often they're subject to mutational changes that either promote cancer or cause resistance to drugs. So our approach allows us to work more effectively than earlier generations of these kinase inhibitors. Right, could you sort of explain how how you do that? Yeah, sure. So kinase inhibitor is a very successful mechanism of uh, drug discovery. Sure. So there's actually 30 or more that have been approved for drugs. They're the backbone of targeted therapy, where you match a patient with a very specific um, kinase inhibitor that drives cancer or a specific mutation and match it with the drug that's specifically targeted uh, for that indication. So there's a lot of history here. Uh, the main liability of these kinase inhibitors, past generations, is that they work, but they don't work long enough. And so addressing mechanisms of drug resistance is extremely important. And our approach to bind and inhibit these kinases is more robust to the extent that we can uh, inhibit not only the wild type or the normal forms of these kinases, but also drug-resistant mutant kinases that cause and promote uh, cancer. Right. And this, this discovery, it, wh wh where did it come from? So we were founded by uh, a man named Dan Flynn, a very bright medicinal chemist, uh, who had worked in kinases in Big Pharma at Amgen and, and ultimately in Millennium uh, in Cambridge. Uh, and he had just a really deep understanding in the structural biology and the function of these kinases. So he had some insights in how to adapt this new platform to improve the binding. So it was really, um, the way we like to think about it is Big Pharma takes a brute force approach to drug discovery. Ours is more an artisanal form of uh, drug discovery. Right, so, so, so what, what actually does your solution look like? So we look a lot like normal kinase inhibitors. Uh, the difference is that uh, we extend our binding into a region of the kinase that's been really underexploited by other approaches. So if you look at it, you wouldn't really know that ours is a switch control inhibitor. That's the term of art we use for our approach. It looks like the traditional type one or type two inhibitors, which form you know, the major classes. Uh, but it's really understanding how those switch control inhibitors interact with a specific targeted kinase that makes them uh, different. And so what sort of you know, proof of concept have you achieved so far? Yeah, so we have actually four programs in development. Three are in clinical studies now, all phase one studies. Uh, we have one program that we just filed an IND for, and that'll be in the clinic uh, after the first of the year. So we've been pushing these into early clinical studies. Um, I could refer to one program in particular, our KIT inhibitor program. So KIT is a specific kinase that drives gastrointestinal stromal tumors, or GIST. And we have uh, been doing a dose escalation study that has produced some really spectacular results. Fortunately, I can't describe that because we're going to present that data in a late-breaking abstract presentation at the what's called the triple meeting in Munich and on the 1st of December. So that'll be the first presentation of our data, but we feel very excited about both the efficacy and safety of that compound. Okay, and if you're doing this um, on your own or are you yes. doing it with partners? Yes, so all of these programs were discovered by Decipher. They're owned by Decipher, no licensing in or out. Uh, all discovered in our labs actually in Kansas in the US, although we now do development and our executive team is in uh, Boston. We're very well funded. Uh, we did a $90 million venture round at the end of 2015, which gives us runway to drive these programs forward into 2018. And we think we have a reasonable opportunity for a public offering or another financing uh, in 2017. Right, okay. So the, the f you mentioned that you, you got this um, the presentation yes. at the triple meeting uh, on the 1st of December. 
What other sort of milestones can we uh, anticipate from Decipher? So we have uh, another program uh, that's directed at another set of mutations, MET and TRAC kinase. So we'll probably, or very likely, present data on that compound toward the end of next year. Um, our dose escalation study will start on our uh, compound that I mentioned just filed an IND. It's a CSF1R antagonist. So because of the breadth of our pipeline, it's a fairly steady flow of news over 2017 and 2018. But we would expect to actually start registration trials for our kit inhibitor uh, early in 2018. So not that, not that far away, maybe a year, year and a half away. Uh, the, mon the money you've got uh, that you raised, the 90 million, that will allow you to complete all these phase one trials or would it allow you to start moving the, these assets into the, into the next stages? Uh, it'll take us quite a ways. Uh, so if we did no other financing, we could probably extend our runway into the first half, well into the first half of 2018. Uh, but because of the news flow that's coming, we'd expect to be able to raise sufficient funds to continue to move very aggressively, right? So, and, your, and your business model, I mean, are you looking, at what stage would you look to partner these assets? So that's very interesting. So because we're so well funded, uh, we don't see partnering as a financing exercise, it's a strategic exercise. So we're a company of about 30 people. Uh, we have four programs and developing a single program is a large enterprise. So we're looking uh, to meetings this, uh, this week with pharma, some large biotech, who can uh, partner with us to really optimize our ability to uh, extract the full value from these potential programs. And uh, a potential uh, partner, what, what sort of attributes are you looking for that they can bring to the table? Yeah, so I think you know we're looking for a muscular partner, so one with a lot of experience uh, in diseases of interest for our kit inhibitor. Uh, we have two assets in immuno-oncology, that's a very complicated space uh, and expensive to develop, so there we're looking for a partner that has a lot of experience in that area. Uh, you know, there are big pharma uh, players, Merck, uh, BMS, of course, are leaders in checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, so we'll talk to, to farmers like them who have made a real investment and commitment to amino oncology. And Decipher, so, you know, I mean, you've got, you've got these, uh, these four assets, three in the clinic, one just about, about to, to go, go into the clinic. How old is the company? So it's interesting that the, the company was founded in 2003 and operated solely in Kansas for about 10 or 11 years. Uh, we had funding from a small group of ultra high net worth individuals. And so our founder, Dan Flynn, was able to operate pretty much under the radar. So uh, as we built out the company and raised awareness over the last two or three years, s some people have said, you know, where have you guys been? Uh, but because of the funding situation, we were able to operate pretty quietly and kind of protect, as a trade secret, our approach to kinase inhibition. But since uh, the start of last year, uh, we've really tried to raise awareness about Decipher and become much better known in the investment and uh, pharma community. Okay. Well, Mike, thanks very much for uh, you know, coming along. And, yeah. Well, thanks for asking to hear a little bit about the Decipher story. Cheers. All right. Thank you.